good morning all of you in the last class we have started the deduction part of brick work in superstructure and under that we have deducted the various openings such as door openings window openings cw opening cell front veranda as well as back veranda openings where there is no brick work and today we will go for the deduction of next item that is lintel which is present over these openings so in the same item write down under same heading write down lintels over doors so these lintel as you know is a rcc item that is made up of reinforced cement concrete so uh, there is no brick work therefore we have to deduct the portions where lintel is present so first we will go for calculation of lintels that are present over doors so as there are three different types of door we will go for first d1 type of door so you can see here this is the uh, door uh, specification of the door that is 1.2 meter by 2.1 meter and here it is written lintel over doors windows etc 15 centimeter so it is may given that the thickness of the door uh, sorry lintel is 15 centimeter that means 0.15 meter so this part is given so now see uh, here if this is a door opening then the lintel will be placed over the door in this manner this one is the lintel okay and this one is the door opening so this dimension will become 1.2 as this is the door so this is will this will be the 2.1 and this one is the lintel which is of thickness this dimension is 0.15 meter so generally then we have to find out as this is as this lintel has length breadth and depth so this will be a cubic meter item so this lintel this will be the in this lintel this will be the length okay so this will be the length part so in order to get the length we have to add with the door opening that is 1.2 we have to add both side bearing so this is known as your bearing so this bearing is generally considered as equal to the thickness of the uh, lintel in maximum cases so this is so this bearing will become 0.15 and 0.15 on both sides so the total length of the lintel will become 1.5 clear opening plus both side bearing this will be the length length of the lintel then what about the breadth the breadth will be the breadth of the wall so as it is present over 30 centimeter wall this d1 type door is present over 30 centimeter wall so the breadth of the wall is 30 therefore the width of the lintel will also become 30 centimeter that means 0.3 meter and in case of uh, what will be the depth the depth will be 0.15 meter which is given in your specification so in this manner we will calculate the door uh, lintel present over door and window openings so let us come to the details of measurement form so in details of measurement form so here there are five numbers of d1 type door 
so lintel will become 5 and in the remark column write down bearing 15 centimeter that means on both side bearing it is 15 centimeter so as the length of the door opening is 1.2 so with 1.2 add 0.15 on both side so this will give you 1.5 breadth is 0.3 depth is 0.15 this is the thickness depth means this is the thickness of the lintel then by multiplying all these we will get the quantity as 0 0.405 cubic meter then similarly we will calculate d2 type so lintel over d2 so this will become the number is 3 so the length will become 1.3 the breadth will become 0.3 uh, and the thickness will be 0.15 then by multiplying all this we will get the quantity as 0 0.117 cubic meter on remark column write down bearing 15 centimeter then come to d3 door so d3 there, uh, there is one d3 type door so here mark one thing in 20 centimeter uh, uh, breadth uh, wall we will take the bearing as 10 centimeter on both side so the door opening so the d3 type door opening is of 0.75 meter so with this we will add 0 0.01 on both side so this will coming out to be 0.95 breadth is 0.2 as this d3 type door is present on your 20 centimeter wall so the breadth will be 0.2 and thickness is 0.15 so by multiplying all these three we will get the net quantity as 0 0.029 cubic meter so next we will go for calculation of lintel over windows so in the same manner we will go for the calculation of w1 uh, lintel over w1 w2 and w3 so in w1 there are 11 numbers of window and the window opening is 1 and in the remark column write down bearing 15 centimeter so we will add 0.15 and 0.15 on both side which will give you the length as 1.3 breadth is 0.3 as this w1 opening uh, window is on 30 centimeter wall so the width becomes 0.3 and depth is thickness of the lintel that is 0.15 then by multiplying all these we will get 0 0.644 cubic meter next we will go for w2 door so for w2 there is only one number of w2 type door uh, window sorry not door window then length the opening of this window is 2 meter so in the remark column write down bearing 15 centimeter so we will add 0.15 on both the side so this will give you the length as 2.3 meter breadth is 0.3 depth is 0.15 then by multiplying all these four we will get the quantity as 0 0.103 cubic meter next we will go for w3 type so in w3 type so this window is on 0.2 meter breadth wall that means the wall thickness is 20 centimeter so in the remark column write down bearing 10 centimeter therefore the window opening is 0.75 with this we will add on both side bearing that is 0 0.1 0 0.1 so there are two numbers of w3 type window and the length will become 0.95 breadth will become 0.2 as this is over uh, your 20 centimeter wall thickness of the lintel is 0.15 then by multiplying all these we will get the quantity as 0 0.057 cubic meter then we will deduct lintel that is present over the clerestory window that is cw opening so there are 18 numbers of cw opening whose length is 0.75 and on this we will 
write down in the remark column so in the remark column write down bearing 10 centimeter so this will become 0 0.95 and the width is 0 0.3 all the CW openings are made in the uh, 30 centimeter wall okay therefore the width becomes 0 0.3 and depth is 0 0.15 then by multiplying all these four we will get the quantity as 0 0.770 cubic meter then we will go for the cells there are five numbers of cell with opening one meter length so write down on the remark column bearing of 15 centimeter then we will add 0.15 on both the sides and the length becomes 1.3 breadth is 0.3 depth is 0.15 so by multiplying all these we will get the quantity as 0. 293 cubic meter because all the cells are also present in the 30 centimeter wall then we will go for the baranda limiters so now we will go for the calculation of baranda limiters so in baranda you can see so this is the sectional detail of the baranda wall here you can see it is written 15 centimeter rcc limiter okay so there is a lintel which is present above the pillars so this is your written as 15 centimeter rcc lintel so this portion must be deducted so first we will go for the calculation of front baranda okay so this is the front baranda wall okay so in front baranda here first we will go for the as we know this out to out dimension of front baranda means only front where the 20 centimeter for only the 20 centimeter wall okay so this will become your from this to the outside is 9.6 meter so this is the total length of the front baranda 20 centimeter wall so over that your lintel will be there so the what will be the length of the lintel so this is 9.6 but this lintel will have some bearing on this 30 centimeter brick wall so this bearing we will consider as 0.15 meter so the total length becomes 9.75 meter for the front baranda because on this side there will be no bearing because this is the outside of the wall so from this to this is 9.6 therefore only the lintel will have the bearing only on one side into the into this 30 centimeter wall which is equal to 0.15 so the total length of the rcc uh, lintel will be for front baranda will be of 9.75 meter length then what will be the breadth of this lintel as this is present over the 20 centimeter wall so the breadth will become 0.2 and depth is given as your 0.15 meter okay in this details of measurement form write down baranda lintels front so in remark column write down 9.6 is the outside dimension of this 20 centimeter wall and this 0.15 is one side bearing of this lintel into the 30 centimeter wall so the length becomes 9.75 this is one breadth is 0.2 thickness is 0.15 then by multiplying all this we will get the quantity as 0 0.293 cubic meter next we will move to the side wall
see here this one is the side and the number is 1 in the remark column write down 2 meter plus 0.15 that is 2.15 2 is the in twin dimension of the baranda side wall and with this we will add bearing on one side because on the other side there is the presence there is the limited uh, so breadth is 0.2 depth will be 0.15 then by multiplying all this we will get the quantity as 0 0.065 cubic meter then we will go for the back baranda so in back baranda also there is a lintel under the uh, brickwork so this lintel now we will calculate what will be the length so in back baranda the outward dimension is same as your front baranda that is 9.6 but here from 9.6 we have to subtract the bathroom portion. So, this bathroom portion is of dimension 2.4. Clear? So, after multi, uh, deduction of 2.4, now we are coming, the, coming to the inside of this back baranda. Now, but we have some bearing on both sides. Therefore, we will add here bearing of 0.15 on both the sides. Clear? First, we will go for go to the out to out dimension, which is same as your front baranda, that is 9.6. Then from that, we will subtract the bathroom portion because that is a solid one. So we will subtract that portion that is of 2.4 meter dimension. So, after deduction, we will get the in to in dimension of the back baranda. Then from that, uh, with that, we will add bearing of this lintel on both the sides. Because on both sides, there are two wall. On one side, it is 13 centimeter wall. On another side, there is a 20 centimeter wall. So, we will add bearing on both the sides. So, this will give you the length as 7.5 meter. And uh, on, uh, remaining thing that is breadth and depth will remain same. So, now we will move to the details of measurement form. So, see here back baranda in the remark column write down 9.6 minus 2.4 the bathroom portion then add 0 0.15 0 0.15 that is bearing on both sides that will give you 7.5 meter. The number of back baranda wall is 1 breadth is 0 0.2 depth is 0 0.15. Then by multiplying all these, we will get the quantity as 0 0.225 cubic meter. So with this, we have completed our deduction part. Now you will add all the uh, openings that is door opening, window opening, cell, front veranda, back veranda, then lintel over all these openings. So after adding all these deduction part, you will get the total deduction is 27.401 cubic meter then this total deduction uh, quantity this quantity will be uh, deducted from the total brickwork in superstructure that is the gross quantity of 93.99 that we have already calculated so from this you will subtract your net total deduction which will give you the net quantity of brickwork in so this is all about your today's class in the next class we will go for another uh, example thank you